Greetings. We're going to show you how to do a couple of real specific things with your knob on your Q series Keychron keyboard. I had some questions. Uh, keep them coming, guys. Thanks for these. Uh, some great questions. Is it possible to use this for brightness? And then also, can you map multiple functions to the knob? So for instance, use it for a volume, which is what I personally do, as well as make it maybe with a modifier key, skip to the next or the previous song. And yes, you can do both of these things. Now, the first one I'll go over is the brightness, because this gave me a little bit more trouble, to be honest with you. Uh, it should work like this. So we're in VIA here, and I've got a previous video on how to get your knob working correctly linked in the description below if you're having trouble like I did first logging onto VIA and getting this sorted out. But once you're in here, and once you have the knob uh, button and then the rotary dials available to program, you should be able to adjust the screen brightness like this. It is simply one of the features or one of the functions in this special section. Right here it says screen plus and screen minus. So minus plus. And I'm going to show you, you should see at the bottom of my screen, that little brightness dialog. You see that thing down there? Well, it's not doing anything. Uh, I'm on a Windows 11 machine, and for some reason, uh, and I ran down several forums, I never solved this problem because I found a better solution my, on my own. But for some reason, this brightness function isn't working. Now, uh, I've tried toggling HDR on and off because I'm using 4K monitors with HDR. Uh, neither of those worked. I tried a few more things, including some command line um, things that were pretty fancy looking, but they didn't work. So how do we do it? If this doesn't work, and this may work for you, if that if it does, great. Let me know in the description below and what what machine you're on and what machine it's working for. I have a feeling this may be easier on a Mac, uh, but if it doesn't, uh, this is what I suggest. I've been using this program already. It was already on my computer uh, because I was toying around with setting the lighting up so that it wouldn't strain on my eyes in the evenings. So this is called F. Lux, and uh, it's free software. It's open source. Uh, it's easy to set up and use, and it basically, I'll show you the little dialog down here, it lets you set the temperature of your screen. So like in the daytime, let's see if I can get it to preview for you, in the daytime it's bright, and then it can go like way red uh, at nighttime. So when you get F.Lux, you also get a shortcut that comes with it, so it's basically doing the hard work for us. If you go into the options here, you can see that alt plus page down and alt plus page up changes the brightness. Okay, great. Well, I don't have a page down or a page up on this keyboard out of the box because it uh, didn't, it's not complete full keyboard, but we have via. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to remap this back to the volume down and up, and then I'm going to use the layers. So here's how this works. If you press the function button, See right down here, it says MO uh, parentheses three. It's gonna go and it's gonna go to a different layer. Up here on the top left, we have different layers. Number two is the standard Windows out of the box layer that it's working and it's doing things with right now. Layer three though, is a whole nother keyboard's worth of shortcuts. So you can program all the keys here just like you can over there in our second layer to do whatever you want. All you have to do is hold down that function key, and then press the corresponding button. And I'll do it right now. If you'll see that F1 and F2, where those buttons are, is the screen brightness. And uh, when I'm pressing F1 and F2, it's not doing anything again, but that's what's happening. Holding down function, pressing F1 or F2. It's referencing this layer of shortcuts. So what I have done, very simply, you could set up a macro for this, but instead of doing that, I simply went over here to basic and I changed this to page down and page up. And now when I hold down function and then alt, because alt plus page down or page up is the shortcut. When I hold function alt and I scroll down and scroll up, it changes the brightness of the keyboard instantly using that f.lux program. Now there's other programs out there too that you could use. This one I found super easy and it was also already installed because I had researched it a while back on my own for the color solution. Okay, now let's do the same type of thing here for a different, um, 
a different question. Uh, had a, someone ask about using the knob for volume and then also being able to use it to skip tracks. Well, sure, let's just do that right here. I've got it on volume already for layer two. Over on layer three, I'm just going to go previous next and then need some music. If we're playing music, now we can do the volume up and down. And then if I hold function, I can go to the next track by scrolling back and forth with the knob. How about that? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this has been real helpful for me to learn about. I hope it has been for you as well. If you did find it useful, click that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing more tutorials and tech content just like this every week. Thanks a lot. You're awesome.